And our question today comes from Rogan. He is in Indianapolis. Rogan wants to know, how can I compare sales with targets in Salesforce? Well, thanks for your question, Rogan. There are three ways to do this, and I'll link to a blog post below the video that gives you more information. The three options are to use a gauge, to use the forecast tab, or to use the GSP target tracker app. And, you know, I'll make no bones about the fact that I think the third of those, the target tracker, is by far the best way to measure sales versus target in Salesforce. I'll explain why, but let's go through three, each of the, the three options. The gauge is by far the simplest approach. It's essentially a speedometer. You have an underlying report that displays a value in the needle and you set the red, amber and green display parameters. The good thing about the gauge is that it's trivial to set up. There's no, they're not such a good thing is it gives you only minimal insight. For example, we don't know if there's enough pipeline to meet the target. And you have to create a separate gauge for each salesperson. So from that point of view, it's not a desperately scalable solution. That said, if you, if you need a quick headline indicator of sales versus target, then it does the job. The second option is the forecast tab. Now, if you've seen me on other videos or read some of my other blog posts, you'll know that I, I don't favor the forecast tab. The good news is that it's standard Salesforce functionality, so there is no additional cost. However, I think it's confusing to set up and use, and I believe the way it presents the target information is overly convoluted and difficult to understand in most businesses. Certainly, I don't know many companies that have been able to get it working successfully over a sustained period of time. So I won't spend too much time on that right now. The third way is to use the GSP target tracker to measure sales versus target. This is an app that we developed in part driven by some of the problems people find in using the forecast tab. We had several goals, make it straightforward for salespeople and managers to use, provide information on current and historical performance in an intuitive way. And third, provide pipeline coverage metrics so that you know whether the pipeline is big enough to meet the target. And if you know that, then you can manage salespeople and the sales team accordingly. Here's the target record for a, a rep. It's for Dave Apthorpe for the current month. We can see that Dave's target is $20,000. In this case, he's already won $6,000. Dave's pipeline is $27,000, but his weighted pipeline is only 10,900. And that means Dave's projected revenue for the month is $16,900. That's made up of the deals he's already won, plus his weighted pipeline. So Dave has a projected shortfall for this month of just over $3,000. And we can grasp that information quickly with this chart over on the right. And below that, we have analysis of Dave's pipeline for this month. Pipeline that is contributing to his, his revenue and his target performance. And actually, I'd be concerned because a lot of that pipeline is still in the early stage. And that means Dave's target performance for the month is, well, potentially under even greater threat. Further down, we can see the specific one and pipeline opportunities that are contributing to his performance. So we can easily pick out the deals that Dave has to focus on if he's to hit his number for the month. There is, of course, a full dashboard and set of reports that provide information at the company, team and individual rep level. You can adjust those charts and reports to suit the structure of your business. The GSP target tracker isn't free. We charge $250 per company per month. That's per company, by the way, not per user. So it isn't free, but we do believe it's, it's great value for money. So Rogan, there's your three options. 
use a gauge, use the forecast tab, or use the GSP target tracker. I should have added that you can take a free 14 day trial of the target tracker by going to the app exchange. So let me know what you think. If you have a question, please send it in or leave it in the comments below. And of course, do not forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel right now. Stay safe and see you on tomorrow's video.